Welcome back everyone, it's Lodestar here and this is part 18 of my Kingdom Hearts HD Dream Drop Distance playthrough. And yeah, in this part we're going to be finishing off the grid with Riku. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go back here, this is where I was in the last part, uh, right about where I finished. And I'm going to jump up here and get this chest up here. Bam. I need to use another drop me not soon. And there's a big chest right there. Yeah. Is it? Oh no, there's still uh, two L's over here. Not that list. Man, don't fly away. It's so annoying. Here we go. So now we're going to open up this chest here. This, I believe, is a recipe for a Dream Eater. Okay, it is the L. Uh, recipe, which is the one that I was just fighting. Which is not a bad dream meter, it has quite a good ability attached to it. Does take a while to get it though, but uh, yeah, I think I will be creating the L. Uh, probably it will be one of the next few dream meters I'll create. Oh, 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 someone save me. Save me, Sora. Here we go. Here we go. Destroy. I think there's only one chest in this area. I always, for some reason, feel like there's two. But no, there's one. Oh, control it. Are you good? Here we go. Um, I believe there's en is there no enemies down here. Okay. There are, there are chests. Um, oh, my controller's having a bit of a tantrum. Oh no. It's getting progressively worse. Okay, so we're going to go up here uh, now. Okay, I, st I need to use a drop me not. I've got to remember. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Open up the U. And let's quickly put a drop me not in. There we go. That should be enough for now. Now I do like Blizzard at Edge actually, it's nice and fast and does quite a bit of damage. Anyway we're going to go up here. So we're actually quite close towards the end of the story. Um, I will be going back to the cargo area to get uh, the chest that I could not get in the last part. Just because it, you know, I wasn't allowed to explore that area. Oh man I hate these guys so much. Go. I think on this this bit right here we have to fight three. One, two, three, yeah. Ah, oh, wrong, wrong. Wrong panel. Oh man. Okay, we got rid of one. Oh, well, I saw that coming. I, we're not going to move. Okay, there's two. And there we go, there's the other one. And yeah, now Meow Wow is level 23. Which is, again, good. Because we need him to get to level 25 so I can get Kuraga. Open up you. Now I'm pretty sure enemies come here. Yep. I'm not really. Oh. There I am. Where's the other one? There he is. Yeah. 
There we go. So, now we take care of them, we can use this thing here. We can make it transport us. Nope, wrong one. There we go. I pressed square instead of X. My bad. Okay, ready to go? Yes. Now again, you need to trans uh, use this thing to transport you to get uh, two chests. Again, this one took me a while to figure out because I, uh, oh, big my fun. I never used these to transport me ever. Like I didn't even know you could do that. I don't think. And yeah, now I do, and now I can get the chest. Ah, don't take the rail. There we go. Listen gently. And yeah, here's another big chest. Uh, let's yeah. see what this is. Okay, gravity strike. I don't know how good that is, but uh, we got it. So, we're going to be moving on to the last area, I suppose. And then after that, we will. I will probably level grind off camera. I'll return back to the last area and we'll do the boss fight, which I am dreading to do. Like, you have no idea. Um, I hate this boss fight there for this world. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. Now, we went uh, through this area with Sora, if you remember. Um, I'm gonna take out these guys because I still need to ooh, get enough for a second chance. So I need uh, the snail to, you know, level up and fight and all that stuff. There we go. As well as, I also need Riku to level up, so, you know. Which he is almost leveled up again. Of course, that yeah. How? Ah, uh, okay, I can't see. Never mind. I was gonna ask how close I'm from leveling up, but it doesn't matter. I level up when I level up. Oh yeah, that's an alarm for sure. Sam, go. <laughs> Riku isn't having any of it. He just destroyed Tron. To the flight deck. But Clue will be here. Or any we'll never make it. Don't worry. Riku's here to help. Yeah, <laughs> it took Sora a whole fight. Even though he was not really trying to fight him, he was trying to get him to remember him. But still, Riku just destroyed him in like two hits. <laughs> Okay, this is a more cooler vehicle than those uh, flying tower looking things. Okay, so if we had gotten all the chests at the cargo area, this is where we, where we, where we will be getting the last free chest in this world. So here's one. This is like the last area. Um, Again, Riku does not go to the spot. I mean, sorry, did I say Riku doesn't go to this part? Sora does not go to this part. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take out these things first. So you do need to hit them like two or three times and then you'll get the option to, uh... Oops, I did not mean to do that. I was actually meaning to, uh destroy it, but, oh well. Ow. Can I please move? Here we go. I will destroy this one. Oh, my control is being very hard to, uh, control at the moment. Here we go. Yeah. 
There we go. I was waiting for it to give me the self-destruct option. Okay, yeah, if that thing's still sh mine, then I may as well leave it. Oh dear. Well, I saw that coming, and I could not do anything while in mid-air. Now, I don't know if I got that second chest. Um, I know I got the first one. But I don't, I don't remember if I actually collected the second one. I think I went straight to fighting. Oh no, I'm stunned. Come on, before that guy shoots. Oh, come on, move, 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 move. Here we go. Oh, I'm getting hit again. Nothing new. Oh no, not these guys. Anything but these guys. Okay, I'm gonna use moving spark if I can. Oh, wrong one. There we go. So again, you get to fly around and then explode. And then we leveled up. So now we only need two more uh, levels. For me, anyway. Um, yeah, down here there will be more uh, of these guys. They actually remind me of the foot ninjas from Ninja Turtles. Now that I think about it. And yeah, there's the last chest, or the one that would have been the last if we got to explore that uh, cargo cruiser thing. There we go. Move, move, move. Ah, oh, dang, couldn't move. Here we go. Oh wait, no, there's one more. Now it's not. I think that is all of them. Okay, so this should be. I will check in my reports in case I did miss any of the all the other parts that I've been to, but I think that is everything. Oh dang, I missed one towards the start. Dang it! I will have to return and collect it. That's kind of annoying. I thought I collected everything again. That, all these ones here will be on the cargo cruiser, so I'll have to go back and get those anyway. But uh, yeah, this bit here is. Pretty much towards the end of the level itself. Um, if you go up there, you'll do the boss fight and finish the world. So, of course, I want to level grind. So, I will. Uh, what I'll do is I'll collect all the chests, and at the time, at the same time, I'll be leveling, uh, level grinding. Um, so, yeah. Okay. So, um, the chest I actually missed. I cannot believe I missed this one. As you know, that I think about it, I do believe I missed this one because what happens was I was fighting if you remember I had that like mission to fight all those enemies down there and then uh, it spawned me through here and uh, I just started fighting and went on my way I completely forgot that there is a chest right here this is like exactly where Sora started this world um, in his story this is like this this is basically called the city area so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the world map um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to respawn at the docks so I can go on that cargo cruiser and collect everything there and then we will uh, call it the end for uh, this world because we'll be doing the uh, not the secret boss just the boss don't know why I was going to say secret boss Okay. What's your chest in there? I, I don't know if I actually opened it or if I... Okay, there is a chest right here. I went right past it. Man, what's happening? Not having very good uh, looking skills of where the chests are at the moment. Okay, gravity strike is not that good. I want to put a... Uh, that blizzard one back on. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go up. 
Oh my kid, it's nothing that way. Can we use real shift on this turret? Auto destruct. Boom. Okay, so now we're on the outside. Um, I guess we'll move up. Or should we? Can we go through this way? I think we can. Okay. Um, okay, I'll go through this one. Take care of these guys. I've almost leveled up again, which is good. Okay, there is a chest here. Open you up. Okay, now we're on the outside. Now we're going to go through this one here, which was on the other side. This one's very distinct because it has. It's the only one with the uh, swinging rail type thing. Yes, I. I don't know what you call. Ah, stop getting hit by the turret. Here we go, I'm going to use my reality shift on that and get rid of it. Now to get some chest you have to get rid of this one. Because it, it explodes a hole in the wall, just right there. There we go. So we'll open up this chest here. Drop me not, that will come in handy. Since I'm using them like uh, we're addicted to them. Okay, so there are three chests here. There's this one, this one, and this one. Now, uh, okay, we'll go up. I was going to go back down uh, outside here because here's the chest outside. But first I'll click the one or the two on the roof, I suppose. Or the two you have to get uh, from the roof. This is one, this is on the roof. Now the other one that I was missing with Sora, I could not find. You have to get to it by the roof, but it's not on the roof. Um, you'll see what I mean once I get there. And there we go, we're level 17, strength and magic increase. So I need to level up one more time. And yeah, there's one there, and the next chest is uh, down this way. Now this one is well hidden. Um, very well hidden. This is the one that I actually missed. Oh well, yeah, I suppose I missed it. I couldn't find it. Now you've got to go to this turret. Uh, use your reality shift on it. Use auto self-destruct. And now it will explode and create a hole. I did destroy that turret with Sora, but I did not realize it created a hole. Now, you can jump down here. Go down here to the lowest level. And there is a chest. This is the one I missed with uh, Sora. I did get it with him on my uh, last part with Sora. Um, so yeah, I think now there's I think there's only one chest left in this area, and probably the last chest we will be collecting in this uh, world. And it's right there, right next to that land. Here's the chest here. This should be the last one. Let's have a quick look. Okay, it is. So, that is all the chests for Riku's grid. And yeah, so I suppose I will cut to uh, going back to um, that last area and we'll be starting the fight. I will level grind one more time to get to uh, level 18. So yeah, I'll see you to the next area, I suppose. And now, uh, I suppose we should buy our things. Uh, so yeah, I got uh, Meowwell up to level 25. So that means we got Kuraga. I may as well buy these few things uh, that he has left over. I don't think I really need these, but oh, well, I'll just buy them. I mean, I can, I may as well. Um, I didn't mean to go out. And yeah, now we get to buy second chance with this uh, guy, which isn't going to be too useful for this boss, but it's got, it'll probably be a little bit better with it, but yeah. Now, we're going to buy a bunch of stuff with this guy. This, uh, this cat guy has a lot of... Uh, a lot of haste, magic and uh, attack haste. I was wanting more magic haste than I am attack, because I want cure to uh, reload faster than um, cure and balloon rose and all that to reload faster. But you know, it's alright. So I'm going to have three cures. That does look a.
tad bit excessive, but honestly, I'm going to need them. I'm going to put Bloomer in. I'm going to put normal balloon in. Um, both are really good for this fight. Uh, so yeah, this fight will stink, by the way. It is the most annoyingest fight for me, anyway, personally. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to roll out with, is three cures. Um, Curaga, Cura, and Cure with Bloonra and Bloon. And just something, anything else. I just have Fire, just because why not. Alright, so, let's do it. Oh man, I am a bit scared to uh, fight this thing. I have beat it two or three times, like I did some test recordings. I beat him and then I did it again, just to make sure and all that stuff. And yeah. This is mine. And I tell you what, I've died a lot more times than I have beat him. Had a feeling you'd be here. You! You promised that we would change the world, together. You broke your promise. I took the system to its maximum potential. And now, you see the applications at my disposal. Yes, this is the guy with the dream eater that uh, we fought um, you can leave at the start of this me. world. I really did not like this, uh, and I don't know anything about this boss at all. The design's boring, ugly, the fighters, the music's not really all that great. So yeah, I really don't like this fight. Now, um, something I recommend, um, is to, ah oh, dang, Spam Balloon, I'm sorry, I know, again, this is frowned upon in the Kingdom Hearts community, but, look, this, I do not like this fight, and I would rather spam Balloon, than die constantly, but yeah, you see how much damage he does, and it's that one attack when he flings it, a bunch of these pineapple ring looking things at the ground, that attack sucks, now, when you get his health down far enough, it will go blue, uh, and then you'll need to use your uh, reality shift on him. I'm not sure what happens if you don't do it. But I'm not going to lie. I presume that he gains health back. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Or he gets wrong. I don't know. I really don't know. But, oh yeah. Gosh, and that stuff's real good. Oh. I hate how there is a uh, flow motion ring right there because I always accidentally go on it when I don't want to. Heal. Definitely much easier with second chance now that I'm doing it again. Now we're going to use reality shift again. We're going to do energy jam. Or energy jammer, I suppose. Okay, we're almost beat him. Come on, Bluner. Okay. Okay, we got him on his last bar, which is really good. And yes, now once you've uh, once you've done that, he will uh, go back to this. And once you finish this specific reality shift, uh, he will die. There we go. I hate that boss fight, and that was I can't believe I did not die. Oh wow. Practice does make perfect, I suppose, but... Oh, wow. <laughs> I died so many times, but yes, that is how I beat that boss. I hate that boss so much. Yes, get off my screen. <laughs> oh, my dream eater died. Or my nightmare died, I suppose. That's what they're called. I created the perfect system. The thing about perfection is that it's unknowable. It's impossible, but it's also right in front of us all the time. You wouldn't know that because I didn't when I created you. I'm sorry, Clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> I find this so funny. Ah! 
Yeah, Riku will take hand, uh, take control of this situation. Dang, this part's going to be around about 30 minutes. Go. This is a lot longer than what I was planning. Clue. Remember what you came for. Oh, I'm so bad. No. No. Why? He's my son. Go! Oh, he just made it. You must have had high jump. Sam! It's time! No! Sam, it's what he wants. I'm not leaving you! Take her! Just as Tron did. Goodbye, kiddo. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Now yeah, he kind of really reminds me of Obi Wan Kenobi. And yeah, I suppose he dies. I, I again, I don't know uh, if that's you know if he does die, but I'm, I'm guessing that he does. The portal is gone. These gates that connect worlds. Maybe when we pass through them, we're challenged and changed. And it's not over. There are more trials ahead we have to overcome. <laughs> but we'll be ready, Sora. Hmm. Indeed. So we got a dual disc again, a keyblade that provides an extra boost in strength and makes it easier to land critical hits. So, uh, where are they? Oh, we get another cutscene. I've turned this castle upside down. Hey, are the other two still out cold? Dylan and Evan are conscious again, but still unstable. They're resting inside. It's cool to see gotcha. these guys again. Well, I guess I'll give the castle grounds a sweep. Especially Don't. the ones that we didn't get to see very if much in back, China Memories. Have found them by now. Mm. So yeah, there's so do you think uh, they were blasted off to some other world or what? Lexius and Zexian. When what someone who's lost their heart is called. recompleted, they should return to the place where it happened. And if that world is unavailable for whatever reason, a refuge is made for them in the realm between, a world called Traverse Town. They would be sent there. Or perhaps... No, look. Okay. The fact is, we're here. We've been recompleted, right? So they should be here too. Hmm, Plain and simple. Much. I agree, it is strange. <sighs> what a drag. Could they not have been recompleted at all? Well, you see... That Forget it. <laughs> I like, you know uh... I'll bring him back myself. By Yenzo. Huh? How? But that's exactly. a human name. And Alias is Lexius. 
Why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs? <laughs> yeah, that was his line from uh, 358. And then we see the DTD, Door to Darkness. Just like in Kingdom Hearts 2. So yeah, there we go. That is the grid, done with. So, in the next part we will be doing Prankster's Paradise with Sora. So yeah, feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.